hope you understand that. Now, when the psalmist said that he so tested or yearned for the Lord, it means that he had a bony desire in him to be close to God and to remain under his warm and sweet arms. You hear that? Just like Peter, James, and John said, let us build the tabernacle here. They, they wanted to be in that atmosphere. They love the presence of God where Jesus is the king, is the Lord and the master, and where uh, Moses and Elijah also came and the fellowship together and the glory of God covered them. He, there was like the dew of heaven coming down for every one of them on top of that mountain of called transfiguration. The mountain of transfiguration. What does that mean? A place where situation transcend, where situation changed. Okay? So when, when, when you are, when God is in you or when God is with you, when God is present with you, whether you are alone inside your room or whether you are with people or whether you are inside the car or wherever you are, when the presence of God come to meet with you, look, every situation around you will change. Your idea will change. Your philosophy of life will change. Your frustration will change. Your inability will change. You will become able and capable. Can we say amen to that? And so, that is the same thing that the psalmist said in uh, in um, uh, Psalm 63. He, he, he had that desire. He had that very yearning, that very desire that was burning him because he wanted to be close to God. He wanted to remain under the warm, um, sweet, loving atmosphere with God or of God. May God help us in Jesus' name. So, he loved to hold him like children would hold their loving parents. You, you hear that now? Remember, that is where, where we started from today. Uh, the psalmist, David, loved to hold God. Oh, he, because he, 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 he wanted to feel the, 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 warm, the, the, the warmth of the arm of God around him. He wanted to feel the sweet presence of Jesus around him. Okay, just like Peter, James, and John wanted they, wanted them to build three tabernacles on top of mountain of transfiguration, hey, so that they would remain there. But remember, at that moment, Peter, James, and John forgot that there were other apostles that that did that that, that, that were not with them, and there were other disciples, multitude that were not with them, and so they said, "Let us remain here." Why? I will not blame them because when you are in the presence of God, just like the song says. Eh? When I come into your presence, I am so happy. You, know, you see, when somebody is always happy, is joyous, you will not remember sorrow. You will not remember the problem of yesterday or whatever situation you are facing. When you are in the church, you are praising God, you are worshiping God, you will not even remember whether you have not paid your rent. You will not even remember whether there is food at home because you are in the presence of God. You will feel at home. You will feel warm. You will feel fulfilled. You will feel glad. You will feel bold. Oh my God. Hallelujah. That is what the psalmist felt. That is what the psalmist experienced. Glory to God in the highest. Now, in a dry and testy land, imply, imply wilderness. Meaning, a situation that is tense, haunting, and frustrating. Now, what does that mean? Now, even the psalmist were trying to say, look, in a situation that is burning, that is tense, that is bad, I want to feel your presence, my Lord. I want to feel your warm, your sweet and warming, I mean, uh, 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 warm arms around me. When you are in a difficult situation and, and you invite God into your situation, you will feel the arms of God around you. You will feel the arms of God covering you and, and helping you, comforting you. God's presence is comforting. God's presence is elating. God's presence is satisfying. Can the child of God say amen? This is the time children need their sweet and warm, uh, 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 warm arms of their parents most. When things are hard, when things are tough, this is the time that, uh, uh, when, when the child is crying because of pain, because of wanting or the other, this is the time the child or the children will need their parents to pamper them, to rub their head, to use hand, their, their arms to, to hold them. That is a beautiful experience. And so that is the, the same experience that we will get or that we will get 
when we have God's presence with us, he, we feel that God is holding me. God is holding us. In your situation, in your difficulty, when you invite God in that situation, when you think about the loving kindness of God, the goodness of God, the greatness of God, the supremacy of God, the superiority of God, you begin to feel the arm of God. So, uh, I mean, it's wrapped around you and it's like you were cold before, but now you are getting warm. The situation that make you to be cold, you will not be warm. If you were hot before, hey, so hot, so tense like somebody that's in the wilderness, you will now begin to get a uh, 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 calm and relaxed. It's like one who is, being, who is now using air condition in a hot situation, in a hot weather. That is the presence of God. Hallelujah. So, and it is he said, and not having your, your, your sweet, loving parents around you is like someone in a dry land because it indicates emptiness. Yes. When the psalmist was praying, I, I mean, was saying that he said, oh God, thou art, thou art my God. He said, early will I seek thee. My soul test for thee. My flesh longed for thee. In a dry and thirsty land where no water is. So when 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 your loving father, loving mother, loving parents are not around you, you feel it. But when they come around you, you you also feel it. But now it is it is a, a positive. Now you are happy. Now my dad is back. My mom is back. Oh my God! Even if you you were hungry, it is like you are forgotten that you are hungry. Why? Because of the presence. Because of the presence of that your sweet parent or your sweet father and mother. Can we say Amen? That is when a mother is a mommy indeed. That is when a father is a daddy indeed. Not just because you are the one that give birth, but because that is you are you are you are the father and you also you are you are also caring or caring for that your child. You are concerned about the welfare of that child. Now, as I said before, uh, pampering here does not mean that uh, anything you do, he will just say because you are my son, because I love you, uh, you are my daughter, because I love you. Uh, you uh, okay, continue. No. A true father, a loving father will always correct you. A loving father will always spank the child when he's going wrong. That is why the word of God says, if you spare the rod, you will spoil the child. What is the meaning of that? If you refuse to use the cane to, to cane your child when he goes wrong, then it means you want to spoil the child. In other words, he's talking about when you are a loving parent, when you are a loving parent, father or mother, uh, you will need to correct your child or children. You will need to correct them, I mean, at the, I mean, uh, on time. You must correct them on time so that they will not grow and become dried. Because when a, a, a stick is dried, it is difficult to burn. When a fish is dried, it is difficult to burn. When you burn it that time, it may break and you will not like it again. God have mercy on us in Jesus' name. Amen. So, when your parents... Uh, or let, let's say now, when God, our heavenly father, our heavenly parent, our eternal uh, uh, parent is not around us, then we are empty. We are dry, like one who is in the wilderness. We pray that we will not be in the wilderness. We pray that even if any, even in any situation that we find ourselves, may the presence of God turn into uh, to an atmosphere that make it a home. Even though people may see it like a desert. But because God is there, it is a home. Remember I said before that a home is where you are feel relaxed and feel comforted and, and feel loved and, and, and feel blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. If humans can have a burning desire for their earthly parents in this manner, you can imagine how, how uh, vital it is when you have the presence of God with you. Yeah. If human beings... <clears throat> Can have uh, the, the loving, um, uh, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, okay. If human beings can have a, a burning desire for their earthly parents because they want to have their parents around them in this way, then just imagine how it is when God is the one that you are you are you are desiring to to be by you that you are desiring for God to be around you that you are desiring for God to 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 wrap His hand around you. 
like your father or mother will do. Wrap, put his hand uh, or her hand on your head, on your uh, shoulders and hold you when you when you are feeling cold. His hand will warm you when you are feeling hot. It will it will it will it will make sure that you 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 are you are you are getting fresh air. That is what a loving parents will do to their children, and that is what a loving father does to any of his children. Can the child of God say Amen? And so, as children are always proud to have their lovely parents by their side, so are believers proud to have God by their side. Mm. Or, as the way the, the way lovely children will always uh, 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 have the desire to have their lovely parents around them to be by their side, that is how children of God, believers, should always have the desire to have our lovely father around them, in your house, in your school, wherever you go, whether you are alone, whether people are there, whether you have problem, whether you don't have problem, you will always feel that desire, that warm desire, that lovely desire for God to touch you, for God to visit you, for God to be in your situation, to be with you in your situation and to see you through because you believe in him and so you begin to see the manifestations of his presence with you. Desert can become an air conditioned room. Hallelujah. And again, children feel blessed whenever their lovely parents call them my child or my children. As we love, uh, as a, as a, as we lovely, uh, lovingly call them our father or our mother. Yes, let me tell you that um, uh, the way parents. Father, mother, warmly and lovingly call their daughters or their sons, my daughter, my son, happily, joyfully, you know, in, uh, honorably. That is how children who have the love, who always feel the love of their father or their mother, the love of their parents, that good one, that lovely parent, that lovely father, that lovely mother, who, who tell their children the truth, who, who correct them when they are going wrong, and who love them, and who also celebrate them whenever... Every, whenever they are doing well, they, they will also uh, praise them and, and, and uh, 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 eulogize them. Those children will be, will be happy to say, Daddy, Mommy, those parents, they are happy to call them. My son, my daughter, then those children also will, will, be, will be have the honor to call them my father, my mother. May God help us in Jesus' name. And so, this is very interesting. This is how it ought to be. When we know how caring, how loving, and how powerful our God is to us. This is how it ought to be. This is how it should be. When we know that our lovely Father, God Almighty, is a caring Father. God Almighty is a loving Father. God Almighty is a powerful Father. Just as a child we know, I will tell my father for you. If, if you touch me now, I will tell my daddy. I will tell my mommy when my mommy comes. That is honor. And so that is how you as a child of God should be bold enough. When somebody is boasting with his idol, with his evil powers, with his satanic power, you will be bold enough to say, just like the psalmist said in chapter 20 of Psalm 20, uh, verse 7, we say, even though you trust in child and you trust in other powers, but I remember the name of the Lord, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. So, uh, well, 